Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily show where we show you one cool thing which we are testing here in the PC Mag Labs. I'm Sasha Segan, this is Tom Brandt. If you are watching us on Facebook live, welcome. Uh, please comment, ask questions. Social Pete here will take your questions. We can engage in a dialogue about our cool thing. If you are watching us on YouTube later, please like and subscribe. Consider coming over to Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern to participate in the discussion. Uh, today's cool thing is for the makers. It is it is for the builders, it is for the people who prefer to customize their technology. It is in my jacket pocket. It is your $35 PC, the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus? Yeah, Raspberry Pi uh, 3 Model B Plus. Okay, okay, and this is a fully featured $35 PC on a board, right Tom? Yeah, there is nothing on here. The only thing you need to buy in addition to the Raspberry Pi in order to get it working is an SD card. Everything else fits on this th thing. Ports, processor, yes. storage, or not storage, memory, it's all on there. Well, I mean, you need to buy a, you need to get a monitor and a keyboard and, you know, stuff like that. It's like having an old school Apple One. Right. Uh, but uh, right. but all the processing is in here. Indeed, and actually that the processing in there is what really is the only difference with this. We already have the Model 3B, um, the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. With this, they've just added a slightly more uh, capable processor and a bit better networking and called it the B+. Okay, so yeah, so the processor we have on here, we were looking at earlier, it is a Broadcom, uh, you said uh, 1.4 gigahertz quad core? Yes, it's a 1.4 gigahertz 64-bit uh, processor, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a slight boost. It's about 200 megahertz. 200 megahertz faster mm -hmm. than the one in the previous Raspberry Pi, but that makes a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, actually, we did. I did some tests on it. It makes a huge difference in terms of uh, performance. Still not as capable as an actual computer, but it works. Well, I mean, this is an actual computer. Well, okay. So, so yeah. Let me back up. So, uh, uh, uh. the Raspberry Pi uh, is. Runs Linux. It runs it, it, out of the it, by default. It runs a, a customized version of Linux, which is fine for web browsing things like that. Uh, but it can't run HD video very well. The mm -hmm. st streaming HD video, um, and it, it it it's not a substitute for a cheap desktop that you might buy, you know, at Best Buy. But like, how about for a Chromebook? Even even a Chromebook. Uh, we actually. I mean, it's it's. The, the, the experience of using Raspbian is, is for tinkerers. It's for mm -hmm. people who mm -hmm. want to customize the thing, people who want to install software with a command line interface. Um, it's just not, I really don't think it's comparable to a Windows, Mac, or Chrome uh, desktop or laptop. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, and this is, this is a 1.4 gigahertz uh, quad-core ARM A53 processor. It is pretty much the kind of processor that you would get in a mid-range smartphone, the kinds of mm -hmm. smartphones that you, that you buy from your carrier for like 100 bucks. That right. kind of that kind of processor. Um, we're going to go through some more features of this uh, tiny little computer in a moment, but let's take a question. So, what's the bare minimum you need to get started with that to actually have a working PC? Okay, so bare minimum, you go on to Newegg or Micro Center, or if you live in the U.S., um, if you live in the U.K. or Europe, you'll have your own versions of, of buying this. But basically, they will sell you the thirty-five dollar Raspberry Pi. Um, 3 Model B Plus. It just arrives looking exactly like this. There is no case, nothing at all. So what you need, in addition to hopefully you've already got a keyboard and a mouse and a... And a so what um, you need is a keyboard, a, a mouse, monitor. and a display. So, yeah, you need a keyboard, a mouse, and a display. Those are standard things you need for any desktop, unless right. you buy them with the desktop. And now your keyboard and mouse would be connected uh, through these four USB-A mm -hmm. ports here, or through Bluetooth. It does have both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on board. This is a Murata yeah. Bluetooth Wi-Fi chipset here. But you need to actually... Uh, you, out of the box, you need, you need to plug to in set USB. Set up with the USB. So you, you can use Bluetooth later, but it won't work right. uh, out of the box. Now, for your display, we have an HDMI out. Mm -hmm. We also have a proprietary display connector. Right, uh, yes. And then we also have, for power, it draws its power from a micro USB port. That's all that this micro USB port is for. It's just for power. Right. So, the steps are, and we, we go into more details this in the review, basically, you buy your $35 Raspberry Pi. Mm. Um, you have your keyboard, mouse, and monitor all set up. Then you take a micro SD card, which you either have or you buy, 
And we have one here, uh, that actually, that the Raspberry Pi Foundation gave us. They, they, sent us. they sent us this one. This is a 16 gigabyte micro SD card. And then you go to the Raspberry Pi website, and you download Raspbian. Um, there's a, well, it's a bit more complicated than that. There's, there's some tutorials on there. Uh, you install Raspbian, which is the operating system, onto this SD card slot. You put it in, connect everything up, and then you, there's no power button. You just plug in the micro USB uh, port uh, for power, and assuming you've done everything correctly, you boot up into Linux. Yeah, now, now as someone who has messed with Raspberry Pis before, I will say that it doesn't have to be Raspbian. Yeah, there are right. actually a whole bunch of variant operating systems that will run on your Raspberry Pi. Uh, over, the, over the holiday period, I was messing around with some kids' computer kits, all of which rely on Raspberry Pi, all of which use their own variant educational operating systems, kits like Kano and Piper, all of which have downloadable operating system packages, which you can download from their sites, unpack onto your SD card, pop into your Raspberry Pi, and then the Raspberry Pi will boot into whatever that variant operating system is. Yeah. What they all have in common so far is that they are all some variety of Linux. Right. Yeah. Now, you can actually, this is something that we, we saw with the, the previous one, you can run Windows. There's a version of Windows 10 called Windows 10 for IoT. And uh, you can actually install this on here. I would not recommend doing that though because it's not the Windows that you think of. It's, it's, a, it's a customized version of Windows for, that's not designed to be intended to be used every day. It's like mm -hmm. if you're you know, using this as a controller for a camera or something, an industrial application. So recommend to stick with Raspbian or a different version of Linux for this. It will run faster, it will run better. Yeah, what a lot of people like to use Raspberry Pis for is, uh, has to do with this on the edge here. Yes. And these are the 40 GPIO ports, or Capio. pins. Capio. 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 Which uh, <laughs> stand for General Purpose Input Output. And these allow uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi to be literally wired up to control any of your random maker projects, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could, yeah, because it's, it's, it's input and output, this thing, you can uh, hook up a thermometer to it and then you know, tell it to do something if the temperature reaches a certain level. Or you could hook up like a DC motor for a robot and tell it to control the robot. It's, it works both ways. There's power uh, and input and output mm -hmm. on this thing. Um, th but again, that's an example of what this is for. Uh, this is way better at doing that than a desktop would be. But if you just want to, um, you you know, watch videos, stream YouTube videos, this isn't exactly great for that. Um, you'd be better off with a Roku or a Chromecast uh, for that type of thing. Right. This is a maker's device. Yeah. This is this is for. I mean, if you're really interested in building rather than buying. Um, so let's go ahead and let's so talk about the case. Explain some of the accessories. The whole point of the Raspberry Pi is accessories. There, you are going to be hard pressed to just spend $35. You're probably going to spend a little bit more and, and in many cases a lot more. So what we've got here, we've got the, the power cord, which is extra. Um, you don't need this. You can use your own micro USB, but they recommend this because it has the correct voltage. Um, and then we also have this $9 case, which comes uh -huh. completely apart. Uh -huh. so, let's, let's, so, so this is the bottom actually here. Um, and yeah, it just it just fits in here like the. Oh no, wait, wait it goes the other you way. Have to go to the back, yeah. So the, back there. there's a little slot for the SD cards, um, which be careful with this because the SD card slot is very delicate. Then you put the sides on, like so. Mm. Oh wait, no, this, this is, is this side. is that this side, is that right? Side. Right. Okay. Uh, they snap in, mm -hmm. and then. You can put this, yeah, snap. Mm -hmm. Okay. Snap. So then this part goes on the, the the top, and this is actually great because you can either leave it like this, or so you can access the GPIO, so access GPIO um, kind of, or you can. So then you you've got, and <laughs> so I recommend doing it like this if you're using it constantly because it generates a lot of heat. That was like one of the tiny, th this is a, an amazing product. No cooling. One of the tiny downsides to this is that if you are using it for some reason for processor intensive tasks, which you know you could be, but you're probably not, it's gonna get really hot and shut down. It shut down a couple times during, while well, I was testing benchmarks on it, because um, <laughs> it gets too hot. So you wanna leave this open, but protected. And then if you're not using it, you can actually then mm -hmm. go ahead and put this on, and then you get. Now that said, that said, this is really cute. 
This is in the $9 case. That said, there's a lot of people in the Raspberry Pi community who would consider this to be a betrayal of the Raspberry Pi ethos. Because if you are using Raspberry Pi, then you should be building your own case right, right, out of sure. little pieces of wood that you have sawed up yourself sure. and fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. Yep, and you should uh, you should also put it in front of the fan so to cool it. You know, you, you, there's uh, you, yeah, you should it should be tinker. It should it should look like you are tinkering with it. You should be you should be putting it in an Altoids box, yeah. and drilling holes in the Altoids box right. for the ports. Right. Uh, let's take another question. Could you turn it into a DLNA server? You can, yes, you can turn it into pretty much any kind of server that you want. Um, assuming that you have the appropriate software for it and uh, have it next to an ethernet or have Wi-Fi capabilities, mm -hmm. it actually works really well for a home media server um, because you, it, that's the type of thing that it can run. It can play local video files. It can but is, is there any problem with bitrate throughput? Like, can it play local, can it, can it serve up local media files that are really big or really high bit rate? Yes. Okay. You can look okay. at, so the Raspberry Pi website has a bunch of different examples and user forums have these too, of people who have done amazing things with it. There's countless pages about yeah. home media servers. Again, the only thing it can't do is you can't use it to stream internet video. You need to, it, it won't, it, 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 it's not, um, the processor isn't good enough to stream HD video from YouTube. It can uh, um, serve as a controller for, you know, you can plug a hard drive into it and then set up Plex or something like that to stream um, uh, videos that way. Or you could use a 400 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Actually, even better to put it, put a SD card. But yeah, so um, it can really do anything. Actually, I was on a plane recently and they had to restart the entertainment system. Mm -hmm. And as it was booting up, it was clear that they were, <laughs> the, the airplane was using a Raspberry Pi as their media server. Oh, so okay. they were, they were uh, I'm sure there was a lot of other customized hardware in there, mm -hmm. but um, they were actually beaming video to, you know, 150, seat back TVs with, with the Raspberry Pi, but on the other hand, it didn't work and they had to reset it. Uh, so. There's actually, <laughs> it's, it's, I think it may be 150 Raspberry Pis. Uh, it's possible there's, that there's they Raspberry had, yeah, Pis in the, in the boxes under okay. each seat. Right, right. And then there's a master server and the Raspberry yeah. Pis are doing the display to the mm -hmm. seat itself. Uh, let's take another question. How can I tell what model I have? Okay, so there's a couple different ways to tell. Um, one of them is the lights. So if we open it also this back. says Raspberry Pi three model B plus on the board. Right. Uh, end of end of discussion. Next okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> it says it in tiny letters on the board. <laughs> okay. So um, okay. So we've we've kind of established uh, as as we typically do who who doesn't have a Raspberry Pi might want the Raspberry Pi or who might want to play with the Raspberry Pi. If you are an existing Raspberry Pi project creator, is there any reason you would want to upgrade earlier Raspberry Pi models to this Raspberry Pi? What could that get you? So to me, there are two main reasons you'd, why you'd want to upgrade. One is simple. It's only 35 bucks. If you want a new toy, spend 35, don't go out to dinner, you know, buy a Raspberry Pi. Um, the, the second reason why you might want to upgrade, in addition to the processing power, they've also added support for power over Ethernet. So if for some reason you are using a Raspberry Pi in a location where you have an Ethernet port but not a power port, maybe like you're, it's in an office building or something like that, um, you can actually buy an attachment that will solve both the power problem, so you can plug in power over Ethernet, and the, it, it's called a PoE hat this power over ethernet hat attaches to the top and it includes a tiny fan. So it, it solves the cooling problem and the power problem all in one. So that's kind of And cool. actually in the media server instance, I think that is really, really relevant yeah. because uh, you may be doing this media server in a relatively enclosed space mm -hmm. with a relatively limited number of uh, AC jacks yep. and you may not want to use another AC jack if you can avoid it. Let's take another question. We're getting into edge cases here, but um, someone asks, can I use different operating systems on the same Pi? Yes, it's very easy to do that. All you need are multiple SD cards, right? So you put one operating system on each SD card. Don't don't like partition the SD card. That That is just a recipe for disaster. Uh, and then you can, all you have to do is shut it down, remove the SD card, 
put in the other SD card and then you're running a totally different uh, operating system. Yeah, and the operating systems, I mean, the thing is the operating systems for this thing are relatively, they take relatively little storage, yep. so, you can, so you can load them on relatively cheap SD cards. You could have a slew of 16 gig SD cards with different variants yeah. of Linux or whatever on them, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, what was 16 gig SD cards, like what, 10 bucks? Yeah, yeah. And even like 32 gigabytes is not that expensive now. The one downside to that, or not downside, but do you really need different, if, yes, if you really need different flavors of Linux. You're playing around. Then yes, This is playing go for around, it. There, yes. The, the Raspbian, um, I, in my, I, I, I've only used Raspbian on this, and it, it works very well. So that's what I would. But think. for instance, but for instance, uh, one of the one of the variants I was playing with over the holiday break, uh, that the one that comes with Piper, it uh, it's heavily Minecraft centric. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it also encourages you to do hardware hacking projects that then plug into Minecraft. For instance, building Ooh. a custom joystick. Okay. That uh, and Pi the Piper Computer Kit provides you with the pieces for that to yeah. attach to the Raspberry Pi, um, so that uh, so so different kind of operating systems for the Raspberry Pi can be more conducive to different kinds of projects. Right. I'm gonna speaking of Minecraft. I'm gonna preempt a question about gaming. Yes, it can run Minecraft. It runs there, so much Minecraft. There is actually a custom version of. Minecraft for the Raspberry Pi, which comes with Raspbian. Yes, yeah, so much Minecraft. Does it run Doom, though? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it runs Doom as well. Okay. Doom can run on anything. Uh, and Good point. We, we, again, check the user forums. I'm sure there's pages and pages of people who have who have uh, demoed Doom on their Raspberry Pi. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, any more questions out there about the Raspberry Pi? Uh, okay, so we have here the Raspberry Pi Model 3B+. Plus. It is your ideal little maker gadget at $35, uh, able to uh, turn into whatever dream project you have out there, as long as yep. that dream project is not too processor intensive. Um, the full review is up on PCMag.com. It is an editor's choice because it is so cool. Uh, thank you all for watching. This has been one cool thing. Uh, if you are watching us uh, live on Facebook, thanks for participating in the discussion. We will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern with another cool thing. If you are uh, watching us on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Check back on PC Mag's page daily, and we will have another cool thing for you.